Survey says. That's the dumbest answer I've ever heard. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now, a few years back, we played a game where we had to guess the craziest answers from a variety of game shows, including Family Feud, mm -hmm. uh, which I think might be our collective favorite game show. Which is why we, we're like, let's do it again, but why not do anything, why not only do Family Feud? <laughs> yeah, that's what you were trying to get yeah. to, which is a good sign because we're gonna see if we can be as stupid as the dumb answers that people sometimes give on Family Feud. Name something a doctor might pull out of a person. <laughs> Darcy. A gerbil. No. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yes, yes, you said it. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Who Wants to Be a Game Show Failionaire? Family Feud Edition. Typically, Stevie leads us through these type of games, but today we have someone special sitting in her spot. Take it away. That's right, it's me, Stevie Harvey. I'm wearing a mustache and an oversized uh, suit. I can, I can yeah, hear that. Yeah, I can hear yes. it. I can hear it. I can hear um, the slight muffling. My, my voice is not uh, affected, um, but trust me, um, my name is Stevie Harvey. Uh, okay, here is how this is gonna work. Just like last time, we're gonna show you a clip and freeze it right before the contestant gives their answer. Okay. Whoever gets closest to their answer wins a point, and the winner gets a Family Feud-style board of compliments sourced from the Mythical Crew. Oh, well, very nice. Ding, very ding, nice. ding, 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 ding. Y'all ready for the first clip? Yes. Let's see it. We got top five answers on the board. Name a kind of suit that's not appropriate for the office. Name a suit that what? A suit. Suit. A, a type suit. of suit. Um, you know, I just have to go with what I would say. I mean, if I were playing feud, I would be nervous, and I'll be saying some dumb stuff. Not that I ever say dumb stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, I know what the number one answer is. Um. But that's not the dumb what, answer. What do you think the number one answer is? Birthday suit is the number one answer. Oh, no, that actually would be a good one for this. Uh, okay. I said latex suit. Oh, okay. Okay. I can see how that. That goes. is a thing. Uh, Makes you very sweaty. I mean, this is the dumb. This is dumb. I went with a gerbil suit. Because <laughs> that. I mean. <laughs> well, because we're on a roll. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, I don't know. All right. Let's like see. Like a it. furry. Name a kind of suit that's not appropriate for the office. Chicken noodle. <laughs> See? Hey, don't oh, touch me. Oh, gosh, man. Hey. <laughs> Dude, don't touch me. I, yeah, I'm with you, man. Chicken noodle suit. <laughs> Look at him. You don't wear no damn chicken noodle suit in here. <laughs> he still doesn't know. Yeah, chicken, chicken though. Hey, I was with you. Okay, yeah. Okay, here's the hard part. Is I that should we get have that right choose... by being exactly like that guy. You did misunderstand in the same but his way. answer, though. Yeah. A, a gerbil is, is an, an animal, animal, as is chicken. <laughs> is that what we're doing here? It's got You got to come up with some reason to, get, okay, to give us a point. Okay, that gets the point. I'm sorry, everyone in the comment section. Let's just see the next clip. All right. CJ, we ask 100 women name something specific of Leonardo DiCaprio's you'd like to hold. <laughs> something specific of Leonardo DiCaprio's you'd like to hold. <laughs> Leo's. Gotta be a dumb answer, Link. It's gotta be a dumb answer. Okay. It's a lot harder to write with this other hand. Yeah, yeah. I see. I feel sorry for you. All capitals. This seems like a hard question, like. To play for real, no? Like that's so that's a, so all specific. Of, all of the questions are to bait people into saying stuff. Oh yeah, it. the whole game has become let's do something that gets on YouTube. Which is why we love it. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, I freaking love it. How often do you just watch Family Feud clips? It is one of my favorite weekend activities. <laughs> You you watch you By were myself. telling me you were telling me this you forgot we were doing this episode today and you were just casually telling me about how you were rewatching the baby 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 family feud. No no, mommy, mommy. That's right. Uh, What'd uh, you say? Well, 
I almost said gerbil, just so you know, because it would still work if you had to hold Leonardo DiCaprio's gerbil. You could do it for the whole uh, episode. But I went with spot and line. That's a dumb answer, but it makes sense, right? Seems like a really smart answer. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a dumb answer is wanger. Well, yeah, okay, That's but that's, that's t typical answer, typical answer. I mean, it is very specific. Let's see what he actually said. CJ, we asked 100 women, name something specific of women. Leonardo DiCaprio's you'd like to hold. The Mona Lisa is painting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at look at that. Look at look at, look at his family. He's like his, the family. The mom is Leonardo da Vinci. That's what you got. Okay, so paintings. So the funny thing about this is, is we're like, he's the fifth guy in line. So they've gone all the way down to him. Presumably, right. no, 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 not necessarily. Yeah. There was yeah, one they strike. must not have. He so, might have yeah, to be the so, first one. Yeah, but he did not pick up on the fact that we're talking about DiCaprio and not Da Vinci. Okay. I don't know which Wait. one's closer. Yeah, Wanger or Spot and Line, which is closer to Mona Lisa. Well, Mona the Lisa Wanger is a body a part, and the Mona Lisa has a body. Um, but sometimes you have to wait in line to see the Mona Lisa. How, how about it's, this? It's oh, quite, I got a lot of. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm, quite a line. Mm -hmm. It's quite a line. And you gave Rhett the last point. I, I think and now you, I think you, you should, should give, give Link this, this one, you okay, know, because these are Link, pretty arbitrary. The point is yours. Here is the next clip. Oh, all right, Cole family, here's your shot. Now, name something friends email you pictures of that you wish they would. All right, Steve, we're going with. Okay, I do not understand what he's. Name friends? something your friends email you pictures of that yes. they shouldn't. Yeah. Okay. Now, first of all, if I go to my family reunion, it's the Cole family reunion. This is my family. If they're from Georgia. Their last name is your brother's first name? Yeah, that's why my brother is named that because we're from the Cole family. Well, I didn't know that. So right. I feel like I should be in tune with these people. And to clarify, it's name something your friends email you pictures of that you wish they wouldn't. <laughs> oh man. I'm trying not to just write wangers again. <laughs> and you trying not to write gerbils again. <laughs> no. Uh, I man, oh gosh, I wanted to write something that would be a throwback joke for me and you, but uh, it's it's uh, from our past. From our past, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and it's so fitting, and it actually has to do with my brother. Should I just write it? Just write it. <sighs> okay. That'll know. tee up the story, I guess. Okay. I don't know what this is going to do to the rating of this video. I'm just I'm going to go first. I I just think it's completely random. It's like random dumb like boats. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. She looks like she's about to say boats in that picture. It is a B. Uh, boat. Like why did you say boat? <clears throat> okay. I think the thing you don't want your friends <laughs> to send you emails of pictures on email. Is it pictures of email? Pictures e on email. E on email. Of uh, is they're pussy sores. <laughs> okay, yep, those are gross. Pussy sores are the grossest. Pu it, these are sores that are have, have pus on them. Right, it's a very They're oozing. <laughs> Nobody a, wants to see it's an a, oozing sore. It, it's like a wound that's a sore and it's got pus that's coming out of. <sighs> uh, Survey says. <laughs> Let's see. Name something friends email you pictures of that you wish they would. All right, Steve, we're going with bowel movements. Yeah. They told me to. They told me to. Look at that. Bowel movements. You don't get those? All the time. It's up there, Steve. All the time, you said. It's up there. No, it's not. He says, no, it's not. Bang. Bowel movement. Oh! I love that name. Can we get, hey, can we lobby with Congress to get Steve Harvey do, making that face on a stamp? Like, with his mouth open? Like, that's, I feel like that's America's symbol. And it, it, as if to say, you're still using stamps? <laughs> <laughs> Don't I, hit my I, shoulder. I, I wanna hit you, you in that every, damn I, shoulder I, so many times. I, I can't say funny stuff on this show uh, anymore, Yeah, you gotta man. be where I gotta watch yourself. I mean, you yeah. you touched the spot where, where it was broken. But I touched it gently. But you, gently. But you did touch the Can spot. I tell you the story about pussy sores? No, there's no story! Boats. Do I get the point? 
No, because uh, boats has an O and so does poop. But this is something from your body that's nasty. It has two S's. This is a nasty thing. That's just something you brag about. All right. Yep. Unfortunately, we're going with pussy sores <laughs> yep, for this right. one. He gets the point. I'll tell you the story later and more. I'll tell you the story and more. Okay, let's see the next clip. This is a morbid thought, but name something you might be holding in your hand on the day you die. Ooh. Something you may be holding in your hand the day you die. Is it just me or are the buzzer podiums a lot farther apart? Yeah, since since COVID they got further apart. Interesting. I totally forgot the question. So name something you wouldn't want to have in your hand on the day you, day you die. die. No, that you might be holding. You might be holding. Yeah. You might be holding. Um, unfortunately my answer is, I think I can write with my right hand. Huh. You could also. Uh, I can. Huh. I can. I can write with my right hand. It's actually less legible, but it's faster. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I went with the Mona Lisa. <laughs> uh, and I said the a Panda Express gift card. Yep. Well, equally equally possible scenarios. All right. You could yeah. die with it in your hand. Let's see which one of those two it is. This is a morbid thought. Oh. But name something you might be holding in your hand on the day you die. My dead mother's tooth. I don't know. Your dead mother's <laughs> Your dead mother's Sorry. what? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you said morbid. We're going to hell for this. <laughs> Where did this come from? This can't be up here. Who got their dead mother's tooth? Where did you get it from? Yeah, that's not up there. When they die, you die with your dead mother's Golly, tooth. In your hand. That woman did that thing where she's like, I'm going to start talking and I'm something will come. One word is going to lead to another. My dead mother's, mother's tooth. <laughs> It's a great way to live life, though. Uh, you know about shoot, that way. Shoot, you know man. about that way of living life. Yeah, one word at a time. Uh, Mona Lisa how... is a dead woman. Um, yep. Who had teeth? Rackets. We think. The point. But a panda. Uh... <laughs> but, but 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 you just immediately gave up. <laughs> you immediately gave up. Pandas have teeth. Okay. Before we look at our next clip, we want to show you the very Come on. next issue look of at that. Blood Oath. It's our most recent. Quarterly collectible item. It's a comic book written by us in collaboration with Fantoons, uh, Rhett and Link versus Barbara and Jade. Yes. And Jade. Our dogs. Uh, you gotta join Third Degree Monthly by January 31st to get this thing. It is a collector's item. It's the only way you can get it. Go to mythicalsociety.com for details. It has a back, it has many pages. The illustrations will blow your mind. All right, let's see oh. the next one. Oh, gosh. Elbow. Just hit that. The only one strike. If a man died cheating on his wife, name something his wife might do with the ashes. <laughs> uh, okay. If a man, if a man, man died. died cheating on his wife, what would the wife do with the ashes? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> right with my right hand. It's, as long as I put stuff in the right place, it kind of works. I'm just going with my gut here. Like the first dumbest thing I could think of. It's, it's a lot less words than he's writing, apparently. Okay. I said, eat them. That's pretty good. I kind of went with a similar answer. I said, sprinkle them on ice cream and force feed it to the woman he screwed. Oh, dang. Okay, let's see. If a man died cheating on his wife, name something his wife might do with the ashes. Pee on them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good answer. Yeah, lick yep. right on them. She's pretty pissed. <laughs> That's good, Steve. <laughs> Pee on it. Hey. And it was on the board. Six people out of 100. Give feed to his hoe. Oh. It says that right Whoa, now. Whoa, nine people said my answer. <laughs> feed to his hoe? <laughs> they say hoe on I, family feud? I almost said. Or did it, was it that it, they didn't have room to write the whole answer? Feed to his house. I, like what's going the on? The crazy thing is, as I was writing it, I was like, it would be funny if I if I said to that, and I was gonna th think of a derogatory term, but I was like, I can't do that. But they did it on Family Feud. They 
Ho is a part of the family feud vernacular. Okay, Stevie, I don't know how you how you determine this one, but my answer is on the board already. Stevie, you know what he's doing. He's writing a whole bunch of words hoping that then he can make an argument that any subset of his words are closer than mine, but I went concise and Mine's I, a specific scenario. This is something that you do to yourself, which includes like peen is kind of something you do Sprinkle with yourself. Sprinkle rhymes with tinkle. Now, that's a stretch. Like peeing on it and eating it are both something that only requires you and revenge. Uh, it's a it's a hard, it's you were putting me in such a hard place, I must say, as Stevie Harvey, but uh, Sprinkle does rhyme with tinkle, uh, <laughs> so the point will go to rest. Yeah, I mean, dude, and my, and my answer was on the board, and it's actually a better answer than the one that it was. But there are more points up for grabs. More points Let's up for see. grabs. Feeds the next his clip. Name something that follows the word pork. Pork. Uh, hmm, hmm. Hmm. I think I got this one. Go for it then. E pig. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna chalk this one up to my late night TikTok family feud <laughs> sessions and say porcupine. Let's see. Name something that follows the word pork. You pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And shoot, that's the only one I've actually seen. Look, look at his reaction now. <laughs> you pie. What is cupine? <laughs> so, is Steve the one who's lost? What is cupine? It's the end of porcupine. Yeah, porcupine. So Stevie, he did not write cupine. He just wrote, mm. he wrote I, the know, whole word. As soon as you turned around your um, board link, we were like, oh great, he can get two points for this one. And then and then Rhett turned around his board. Uh, but he wrote pork, I wanted porcupine. to show you the, fu the, sure. the, the full thing, man. Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. Am I apologizing? I'm sorry. The point goes to he Rhett. Cheated. He cheated. Um, that's not he cheating. Was studying. I didn't know we were playing he this was, game. He was brushing and up. That's, I, I saw that like at least a year ago. The the good news is that um, this is the last one and it is worth four points. Uh, so uh, Thank you, you, Stevie. you can still tie. Let's, you let's can still tie. Hey, Mr. Bird, we got to slow it down. Now, Wilkins family can steal. We got two strikes. 100 women. Tell me, country, where you think the men are sexier than American men? No. <laughs> Look uh, at her thinking face. A country. I love Robert's thinking face. A country where the men are sexier than American men. <clears throat> She's about to say something dumb. Yeah. Um. She's thinking hard. All right. All right, I think saying? she did the old country state mix up and said California. Oh crap, I have the same answer, but I said Alabama. Oh. Let's see what she really said. 100 women, tell me country where you think the men are sexier than American men. United States of America. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> America. Yep, yep. She, she still doesn't know. <laughs> what? Look at Steve. You know, when your son doesn't go, good answer, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that's when bad. Your, mo, most sons will support their mother no, no matter not what. <laughs> I love that she doesn't realize. <laughs> you said that, you went, oh, wow. Said, your, your boy went, damn, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> United States of America. Yeah, that's not it. The so, United States of America. So we yeah. were well, both. You're both too wrong. Too specific. But. Which one's more American? America. Starts with an A, as does Alabama, which means Link takes this round, which means yes! it's a tie. That's right. So we we get to see both of your compliment boards, if we could. Oh, okay. Oh. See, we oh, both and, get to and win. good mythical more is when we're going to see Ooh, those. Oh, there's lots of things. There. You're going to hear about those pussy sores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're going to uh, see our compliment boards. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Cordero. And I'm Pilar. And we're at the Sacramento Zoo, and we found a cockatrice. It's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Did you know they had one of those up yeah, there? Yeah, they're real. They're real, dude. They're real.
go. Click the top link to watch us play Reverse Family Feud in Good Mythical Man. And to find out where the Will of Mythic Alley's gonna land. Join Third Degree Monthly by January 31st to get the second issue of Blood Oath, our comic book. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.